Today and every day, I strive to push beyond my limits. A freshman amongst upperclassmen, a rookie amongst pros. They own you. You won't have any free time, no social life. Do you sports are your life? As a freshman who was once amongst the top in my state in high school, with the dream to pursue track on a collegiate level, these were common statements I was told. And I wasn't the only freshman coming in with certain expectations. Coming into college, I heard a lot of, oh, good luck, you know, being owned, like signing your soul away, you know, people would say that to me. I was definitely scared. Um, I didn't know what to expect, really. Everybody was like, oh, like, I mean, they kind of built it up, like, oh, wow, you're a D1 athlete. I was kind of scared because I thought I wouldn't be as good as the other girls because they're all D1 athletes and they're all older than me. difference is probably the physically demanding aspect of the practices. Um, I'm a 400 runner and in high school I was considered a sprint so you know I didn't do like long distance stuff and I never ran cross country but here it's considered mid distance so I mean we go on like hour long runs and um, the intensity is definitely up uh, so I wasn't really used to that. But no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, talks picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much. We didn't lift much in high school, but here there's lifting, so I'm out of my element with that, so coming into that is a lot different. I have been the same weight since eighth grade, but since we started lifting, so like I've only been on the team for like weeks now or something, I've put on five pounds of weight, which is like crazy for me. I had to get bigger pants because my legs are a little bit bigger. He'd be the one that set the West in flames And I heard him wreck it with the crystal method Name of the game Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church I like bleach, man Why you had the stupidest verses? Dude, it's the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots And stocks through the roof I heard him with that style. This is 10% luck, 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 20% luck, 20% skill 15% concentrated It's more of a mental drive, like, where you need the willpower to get better. Like, you can't expect somebody else to be, like, you know, yelling at you the whole time, because you got you got to have that mental drive for yourself. There's so many different more aspects you have to do, because in high school we basically just had a two-hour practice, and that's it. And here at college we have, like, one-hour lifting practice, two-hour running practice, and swimming practice. It's hard to balance out everything, because, you know, we have classes and then we have to, you know, make time for practice and of course sleep and work and studying and all that kind of stuff. I have made many adjustments in my sleeping patterns. I try to go to bed at like 9 o'clock now. In high school I usually went to bed at like 11 or 12, but I can't do that anymore. I haven't had to change any of my eating habits to adjust to my schedule, but I've definitely had to um, make sure that I sleep more or else I'll be tired during um, practice and lifting and that doesn't really help me much. I eat so much <laughs> right now, um, but it's it's okay because like I need it, you know what I mean? Because I'm seriously working so hard and it's not affecting me any like in a negative way or anything because I'm just running it off and burning it off. So uh, to be honest, the first week, the first two or three weeks, every single day at practice, I told myself in my head, I can't do this, you know, I'm gonna quit, like this is, I can't do it. But then, when I said that, I also said, just give it one year. I mean, you, you haven't even made it to the season yet. It's just the first month. Like, just give it one year. And now, I love it. All the sweat and early mornings are worth it. We, the freshmen, have tackled the physical, mental, and emotional transition and was rewarded with the most heartwarming payoff, team camaraderie. Today, I become one in our family, our family of Bobcats.